Sorry, it's dark. It's 6 a.m. and we're hiking out to some hot springs. And it is snowy. Oh my gosh, look how much steam there is. I've actually never been to these hot springs, which is wild because I've been to so many, but these are kind of, they don't pop up on a lot of lists. I was going to go to Kirkham Hot Springs, which is only like 20 minutes away, but I, I was looking at places to sleep and there's a campground nearby and everyone's like, oh, the hot springs are great. And I'm like, what hot springs? I mean, it looks like there's a fire. <laughs> I'm so happy. So we are going to explore these together for the first time. What is that? What in the world? There's a bathtub. We might check that out later. <laughs> oh, I can't get over how pretty it is. How have I never been here? This is amazing. We're doing some maintenance first. This happens in spring uh, because there's so much runoff. Basically, a lot of the pools will get flooded because there's so much water. So I'm gonna re-divert some of the cold water that is currently coming into this pool so that it becomes better temperature. So let's do some diverting. <laughs> This really reminds me of Boiling River in Yellowstone, which I don't think is open anymore, but it's very similar in that this is boiling hot water, this is freezing cold water, and they meet where I am. <laughs> so I have to kind of get the perfect mixture. Uh, there are though, I noticed, more pools further down, so I think I'm gonna go explore. There's always a perfect pool. Because some people like it hotter, some people like it colder, but when you find it just right, I'm going to soak now for a while. All right, what do you guys think? Should we go try out the bathtub in the shack? Let's do it. It is clean. I think it just, um, the nice thing about this is there's just constant water coming and going. So it doesn't really have time to get dirty, but 
This spout seems to have boiling hot water coming from it, and this one has like lukewarm. So it's kind of the perfect temperature, I'm not gonna lie. This is so cool. I mean, ah. Oh. I think this has moved into the ranks of one of my favorite offsprings. I mean, there's a private bathtub. And there's so many pools. There's so many hot water pools and it's so pretty. And I think if I come here in winter, this might become my favorite hot spring. I'm so happy. <laughs> I just, I'm so happy. Thank you to whoever built this, because this is incredible. That's the closest I'm gonna get to a bath anytime soon. I'm getting out now. I've been, I'm not gonna lie, I've been in here for like an hour, but I have to go. I can't lay in a bathtub all day. I mean, I could. I actually don't have a reason why I couldn't, but I shouldn't lay in a bathtub all day. So we are gonna go. Alright, I'll see you in a minute. In some very exciting news, since my back, my backpack is also my gym bag, I have a brush and I can brush my hair. This is such a good day. And there's little hooks for my towel. I'm coming back here. I love this place. Well, time to leave my beautiful little sanctuary. It's so interesting to me how I walked about a half mile and now it's just winter again. But you know, by the hot springs, it felt like spring. There was flowers blooming because it's so warm and just wet. It's like a very rainforesty climate there. It just, it felt like spring. But now I'm back to trudging on snow. So amazing how fast things can change. There's Elrond. So in the summertime, I, I kind of walked through the campground, but in the summertime there's a campground open and then the hot springs are only like a quarter mile walk from the campground. There's like a day use area and everything. But in the winter time, because the road is closed, I would recommend parking at the Warm Springs Trailhead. It's like a quarter mile away from the road close sign. And then I would say it's about a mile and a half walk to the hot springs. So it's not bad, but you can also, if you sleep in your vehicles like I do, you can sleep at the Warm Springs Trailhead. <laughs> so, it's kind of a win-win. But there's my baby. What a good morning! <laughs> Wow, I am so fucking hungry though, oh my gosh. Oh, I mean, I already went out for like four hours and I am starving. Let's go find somewhere to camp tonight. Maybe I'll have a fire, there's a lot of wood. I should have a fire, I love fire. Oh my gosh, look at this campsite. It's perfect. 
I'm so excited. Idaho is so underrated, man. It's like just cold enough. I need a jacket. Once I'm finished this, I'm gonna go build a fire ring. I'll see y'all then. I mean, I could just put it right there. Cause then I wouldn't have to move my car. Yeah. All right, cut to a time-lapse of me very quickly building a fire ring that probably is gonna take me a while. Not perfect, but it'll do. I know it seems too early to have a fire, but it is almost 7.30. And we still have over an hour of daylight left, so I am exhausted. So I'm having my fire now, I'm gonna make dinner. I already have, it is getting towards summer, everything is getting drier, so I filled up a couple gallons, um, gallon jugs from the river just to have water to pour on the fire, because when everything is so dry, it is much more important. I mean, it's you should always make sure your fire's out before going to bed and everything, but specifically in drier climates and summer, you wanna make sure to either bury your fire or pour water on it. Because obviously if you're having a fire surrounded by snow, there's not much to catch on fire, whereas here there is. So, you know, public service announcement of the video. <laughs> Don't drown people, drown your fires. Yeah. I'm gonna make some mac and cheese because I am hungry. And I don't have a lot of food in my car because I was not planning on being out of service and in the middle of nowhere for as long as I have been. I've just been having a lot of fun. So I am now running out of food, but I always have mac and cheese. <laughs> Well, today is not my healthiest day, but of eating. <laughs> but I did walk like seven miles today, so I feel like, no, I walked more than seven miles. I feel like cheese, lots of cheese and pasta and beer and carbs is earned, you know? I can't believe I just dragged my beer with my pinky out. When in doubt. And that is how you drown a fire. It's honestly kind of fun. The big white plumes of smoke. However, make sure your car is closed before you do that. Otherwise, if the wind is blowing wrong, that smoke could blow right into your car or your vehicle. 
whatever you have. And that's never good. So make sure your vehicle's closed before you do it, but also drown your campfires. <sighs> it's only 9.30. Isn't that wild? You know, I feel like I kind of for every time this happens every year and when the days like really start feeling long when it's still like kind of late after nine o'clock there's just there's so much more you can fit into a day because you know in winter car camping I would be in my car five five thirty it would already be dark and you know I'm not gonna go hang out outside in the dark but now it's nine thirty, and I'm finally getting in my car and it's warm and I just want to hang out outside it's so nice but I am exhausted. I was up today at like 5.30 a.m. And tomorrow I am getting up again at like 5.30 a.m. Not for this video. Not for any video. I'm just getting up tomorrow morning and I'm going to go soak in some hot springs. <laughs> by myself without my camera. <laughs> because I really, I do love filming these adventures and I do have a lot of fun doing it. But sometimes when I am filming, I do kind of forget to really... I guess, live in the moment and enjoy the moment. I'm more focused on, on filming and I love that. And it gives me like a really good purpose in my life and I really enjoy doing it. But then also some days I just want to go soak in a hot spring and, you know, not have to always worry about getting the right angle and making sure I film everything and everything like that. So I am going to take tomorrow and I'm just going to have my me day and I'm going to go soak in some hot springs and camp and just do everything that I do when I film for you guys. I'm basically going to do today again and just do it without a camera because I think it's important to keep doing that for myself so that I don't, I don't know, I get tired of filming. I don't think I would because I generally enjoy it, but I do sometimes need to also just take time to myself. So tomorrow is a me day <laughs> and it's going to be great. And today was great, and genuinely most of my days are great. <laughs> I don't have anything to really complain about. If, you know, if I can sit here and be like, some days I don't want to film, well, I don't have to film. And that's really, really nice. <sighs> and that's why I got into this lifestyle to be in with, you know? Freedom. Freedom to do what I wanted to do when I wanted to do it. Today I have the freedom to film, and tomorrow I have the freedom to not film. <laughs> and that is a beautiful thing. So now that I've rambled for far too long, I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching. I'm genuinely just so grateful for all of you. You know, there's a lot of content that you could watch, so the fact that you choose to spend any part of your day with me, it really means a lot. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. <laughs>